In this video, we're going to be talking about perpendicular bisectors and angle bisectors, and we're going to be drawing a couple perpendicular and angle bisectors to sides and angles of the triangle. So remember that a bisector, remember bi means two, and sector is like a section or a segment. So a bisector means the line that divides something into two equal sections. So bi means two, sector means sections, two sections. So when we say perpendicular bisector to a side of a triangle, we're looking to draw the line that divides the side of the triangle into two sections. And when we say perpendicular, we mean at a 90 degree angle. So in other words, if we wanna draw the perpendicular bisector to side AB of triangle ABC, we look at side AB and we wanna find the midpoint or the point that's halfway between A and B. And because we're just doing this freehand, we'll have to get just sort of an estimate, but this looks like about the midpoint to me between A and B, so somewhere right here. We want to draw the perpendicular bisector. So this line that we're going to draw through this point needs to be perpendicular to the line segment here, AB. So we want to draw something that's right about at 90 degrees. So if we go ahead and draw the line that looks roughly like this, that looks like it's about 90 degrees to me if I look at this angle between this line I just drew, this dotted line and the line segment AB. That line then is the perpendicular bisector to the side AB because it's perpendicular to AB, and it's the bisector because it divides A and B into two equal sections. What about the perpendicular bisector of side BC? So this side right here, BC, well, again, we wanna find the midpoint, which looks like it'll be maybe about right here, and then we wanna draw the line through this point that's perpendicular to BC, so that's set at a 90 degree angle. So that might be something like this, and again, this is freehand, so it's just rough, but we can call that the perpendicular bisector to BC. And then finally, to side AC, if we look at AC here, maybe this is about the midpoint right here, midway between A and C. We wanna draw something that's perpendicular. Well, this one's probably the easiest because AC is sitting flat here. So we just wanna draw something that's perfectly vertical since AC is perfectly horizontal. And that'll look something like that. So that'll be the perpendicular bisector of AC. So that's how you draw perpendicular bisectors to the sides of a triangle. What about angle bisectors? Well, when you're asked to draw an angle bisector, you're just gonna do the same thing we did in the first example, except that you're gonna do them for each of the angles. So in triangle DEF here, if we look at angle D, which is gonna be this angle right here, we wanna draw a line through this corner of the triangle that bisects this angle into two equal parts. So maybe that's going to be the line that looks roughly like this because this divides the 90 degree angle into two equal 45 degree angles. We knew it was a 90 degree angle because we were given this little right angle symbol right here and we know that a right angle is 90 degrees. So that'll be the angle bisector. If we want to do the angle bisector for the angle E right here, we just need to draw the line that's gonna divide this angle into two equal angles. So maybe that's something like this. And again, these are freehand rough sketches, but you get the idea. And then same thing here for the angle F, the line that divides this angle into two equal angles, which maybe looks something like this and that'll just be the angle bisector. The reason we need to know this is because later on down the line, we're gonna be able to do some different things with the point where all of the angle bisectors meet. So this point right here, where each of our three angle bisector lines, where they meet each other in the middle of the triangle, this is going to be an important point for us later on in geometry. So that's why we learned this. What about this last example here? We're gonna draw the perpendicular and the angle bisectors. So the perpendicular bisectors of the sides, we have triangle STU here. So we're just going to look for the midpoint of each side. So the midpoint of side ST, that's gonna be about right here. If we draw something that's perpendicular to this, it might look something like this. If we find the midpoint of TU, that's maybe gonna be right about here. If we draw something perpendicular, that might look like this. And if we find the midpoint of side SU, that might be right about here. And if we draw something perpendicular, that might look like this. So those are gonna be the perpendicular bisectors of the sides of STU. And then if I'm looking for the angle bisectors, I want to, from each angle, the angle S here, I'm going to bisect this angle into two equal angles. So maybe that looks something like that. Bisect the angle 
T into two equal angles. That also happens to be the perpendicular bisector of side SU. And then the angle U here, I'm going to draw my angle bisector, and that'll maybe look something like this. Now if I had done this perfectly, I would have gotten all of my angle bisectors and perpendicular bisectors to meet at this one point here in the middle. And the reason is because all three sides of this triangle are equal to one another, which means all three angles are equal to one another. And when that happens, your angle bisectors and your perpendicular bisectors all intersect each other at one point in the interior of the triangle. So that's how you draw perpendicular and angle bisectors in triangles.